Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from JE Photography Design. I wanted to do a quick tutorial to show you how to use these beautiful silhouette templates that I have available. So I'm going to show you first the grad one that I have. So when you purchase the templates from me, you'll see over in the layers panel here, there is options to turn layers off. So you can turn the grad, you can see the GR and the AD, you can turn those off. You can move them around if you need to by highlighting and highlighting the layer. And then you can either do Command T or Control T, Command T on a Mac. And then you can, that transforms it, so you can move it wherever you want it to be. So for example, I don't let's just move it there. And press Enter to make sure it, uh, you know, clicks to the screen. So you can turn those off and then you can turn the 2020 on if you'd rather have that caption or that saying. And then also up at the top, the little grad hat, you can turn that off or on. And the saying up in the top left corner, you can turn that off or on. You can, just like the other um, letters, you can highlight it, Command T or Control T. You can move that around, you can resize it, you can do whatever you want with that saying. If you don't want the saying at all, just turn it off. So, I'm going to show you one of the easier, oh, not that one, we're going to do this one. So this is the one little girl I was using. So I'm going to actually do Command J or Control J uh, on a regular computer, which will uh, duplicate the layer. And then I'm going to go over to my selection tool. And I'm going to click select subject up at the top. So the selection tool it looks like a little paintbrush with little um, dancing circle ants or dotted circle. And I believe it's actually called, it's called quick selection tool. So that's what I'm using. And then you click select subject and it'll actually select, and it, because I have it on a dark background, like a very neutral background, it does a fantastic job of selecting. So if you're um, looking to shoot your or shoot for this uh, type of setting or this type of template, my suggestion would be to get as plain of a backdrop as you can to make the selection process a lot easier. So as you can see, it selected everything perfectly. So I'm going to go select and mask. And I'm going to smooth it. I usually, I don't know, put it up to like six or seven. And I don't do anything else other than down at the bottom, output to, so output to, it says selection. And I want it to go output to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. I want to be able to mask this if I need to. So as you can see, it brought another layer in. And you can see she's masked out here. So with that layer highlighted, I'm just going to left click. And I'm going to drag it into my silhouette. So my image here, this was just one that I had saved on my computer, um, just like for uh, social media. So it was really tiny. If you're using a high res Im image or even a, a cell phone one, it's good. They're going to come in a little bit bigger. But like I said, mine is just because um, it was a very low resolution image. So as you can see along the side here, there's a little bit of a gray line and on the bottom. That's coming in from the actual photo when it masked it. So all we need to do is click over here on the mask layer, which is a white box. And I need to go grab a brush. So I'm using my brush tool. I'm using a soft brush and I want it to be 100% hardness right now. And being that it's a white layer mask over here, I need it to be black to brush that away. So black will conceal, white will reveal. So as, I, as you can see, she's pretty darn perfectly cut out. I don't really need to do any additional masking to her. So I want her to be black like a silhouette. So the best option for me that I have found is to go down here. Hopefully you can see it. Um, it's at the very bottom. So it looks like a circle that's cut in half. 
and click on solid color and you want your solid color to be black and so there you've got that and I'm going to highlight that layer well it already was highlighted I'm going to right click create a clipping mask and voila I have now my black silhouette and I'm going to just click on the grad hat and command T I'm just gonna move it maybe I want it I don't know, maybe I maybe I want her throwing it up in the air. Or, I don't know, whatever you want to do with it, you can you can play around with it. Throw it up in the air, or something like that. And that's pretty much how you do that silhouette. So um, in the template, everything is already set. The sunset when you click on that, everything turns off. So the grass is set. Everything is already there. The only thing you can change is again the 2020, and you can replace it with grad if you want. Or you could actually take them all out and just leave it as is. It's, it's whatever you want. So now I'm going to show you the other one quickly. Uh, this was the dreams come true, which again, you can turn the castle off. You can turn the butterfly off. You can turn the sayings off. So all of these are very customizable. However, I used this little girl in my image. So I'm going to do uh, command J just to duplicate that layer. And I'm going to go back to my selection brush and I'm gonna go select subject. And we're just gonna let it do its thing. So as you can see, it kind of misses a little bit here and there, like in here um, in between her arm in the background where it is pretty light. It can't distinguish the difference there. So that is why I'm going to go select and mask. That is why when I'm doing this, I make sure I output it to um, a new layer with a layer mask so I can go in and adjust if I need to. So now we've got her selected. There's the layer mask there. I'm just going to take this layer, like I did the other one, and I'm just going to physically drag it and drop it into my template. So now I'm doing a command T or control T and I'm just making her bigger. Like I said on the other one, these are very low resolution photos. So now I'm going to highlight my layer mask and take my brush again. So again, it's a white layer mask. So I need my black brush. I'm going to just brush that crazy little line away. Now, I need to kind of go in and go around her head and in her hair a little bit. So I'm going to make this, and I know there's a shortcut to increase the size, but to be honest, I, I don't know what it is and I'm too darn lazy to figure it out. So if anyone knows that shortcut, please feel free to post it in the comments because I love shortcuts, but I'm kind of lazy to look them up sometimes. So I'm just going to go in. As you can see, I'm just brushing away that area in there and I'm personally I'm a little bit picky some people aren't because this is all gonna be black so you're not gonna see all the details like if you leave a little bit of white outstanding or you know whatever color you're working on it's all gonna be black but I'm a little bit picky so and I know some of her fingers got cut off in here so all I did is I pressed X I, know, I do know that shortcut. So if you press X over here on your paint palette, it will change on the left hand side if you look. If I press X, it changes it from black to white or white to black. So when I want her fingers to be showing, I need it to be white because I need to reveal her fingers. So now I kind of brought too much in, so I need to flip it back to black and do that. And then I just kind of quickly go along, go around, looking for spots that may need a little bit of touching up. So a little bit up here. And I know the butterfly wing here kind of got cut off. So I'm going to just bring that back in. So then it's obvious that it's a butterfly. And I'm just kind of doing this quickly just so you guys can see. I usually go in, I take a little bit more time when I'm doing mine, but like I said, just doing this quickly for the tutorial.
Um, and so I think that's good. I'm going to zoom back out to 25%. And it, as you can see, there's a little bit of a halo around her. But when we add that, so sorry, I'm on the layer, going down here to the circle, black and white, we'll create, it says create new fill or adjustment layer. I'm clicking on that, adding a solid color, and I'm adding black. I suppose you could add whatever color you wanted, but a silhouette is black, so I don't know why you'd want anything different. Um, so it turns your screen black, obviously, because that's the top layer, like that's the colorful layer. So you want to uh, right click, create a clipping mask, and then it turns her into a silhouette. So as you can see, there's a couple little rough edges, like that's because I did it really super quick. So I would maybe go in and touch that up a little bit with my brush, um, a little bit of a harder brush and just kind of go around. Um, you can also play around with the masking. So when you are, when you're bringing your, or doing your select subject and select mask, you can play around with that in there too. Um, you know, what maybe you need to make it a little bit smoother or maybe you need the radius to be up a tiny bit. So those are things you can play with uh, to make sure that your subject's coming in nice and um, selected. Maybe that's, I don't know if that's the right word. So I've got that. Now, oops, I want to highlight the little girl. Now I want to flip her because I want her to be pointing towards the other butterfly. So I've got her layer selected. I'm going to go up to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and as you can see it brought that black line in, so I'm just going to erase that. And I need my paintbrush. I need to make it bigger, and I'm just going to brush that away, like that. So now I'm, I, you have to click on the little girl if you want to move her to, to transform or whatever. Don't click on the mask, click on the little girl picture itself. So Command T or Control T. I'm just going to move her around, maybe make her a little bit bigger, or I'm sorry, a little bit smaller. And you kind of want her to be down into the grass, so like that. So it's pretty easy. You can use a cell phone picture. Oh, you can see up at the top. The line from the picture came in, so I just got to delete that. Oop, done. So it's pretty easy. Um, the templates are easy to use. Like I said, you can turn things off and on. Uh, they are interchangeable. If you like one, if you get a couple of my templates and you like one saying but like the backdrop better on another, you can easily drag and drop um, different elements of different templates into them, just like we did with the girl. So, for example, uh, this castle. I'm just going to highlight it. I'm going to drag it around and literally drop it on the grad one and voila, you've got it there. So you can play around with them and have fun. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. The uh, templates are all in the store. It's called www.photographersdigitalmarket.com. And my name is Jennifer Earl, so you can look under my collections. Uh, they are silhouette backgrounds. Um, there's a lot of great artists in that store also, so take a second and take a peek around, check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to post in the Facebook groups, um, and I will try to answer you ASAP. Thanks so much, and hope you all have a great day.